The search continues for two teen hikers in a remote part of Clackamas County. The teens from Westland High School were reported missing late Saturday night. Clackamas County search and rescue teams worked through the day yesterday and overnight searching the area near Table Rock, just southeast of Malala. Coin Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg joining us live from that area this morning. And Brent, I know you've been talking with crews there, and we understand search and rescue crews are out right now. Chad, good morning. This has been an all out search and rescue effort for these two young boys, 16 year old and a 17 year old, both from Westland High School. The command center is right behind me, and authorities say that another group of search and rescue teams. We'll be coming here at 7 o'clock to relieve those who have been on the mountain overnight. The conditions here are dry right now, though it has been rainy for quite some time. Bradley Nelson and Jackson Chandler are best friends. They are experienced hikers, deputies say. Over the weekend, dozens of search and rescue teams spent hours looking for these two young men. Both attend Westland High School, and over the weekend, search and rescue crews on Sunday found the boys' vehicle. It was five miles east of the trailhead for Table Rock, and that is a good sign for deputies, they say. Knowing them, they're sitting and waiting because that's what you're supposed to do when you get lost is sit and wait. So now that we know the area that they, the truck is in, uh, they're going to find them. The two boys were supposed to be on a day hike, supposed to return home to West Lynn on Saturday afternoon, but that did not happen. That's when the boys' parents called search and rescue teams. There have been search and rescue teams out here since Saturday afternoon. Uh, we just saw them bring in some horse uh, units, the mounted patrol unit, to go up into this uh, rural area to help look for these two boys. Chad? Brent, I know you've been out there. You've climbed at Table Rock at times. Describe it for us. What is it like? How intense is it? And what kind of situation are these boys involved in? Chad, we were up there in the summertime. It was July. It was dry. The conditions were ideal then. Right now, we are expecting these teens to be in very wet conditions. It's a treacherous uh, hike. I would say it's very hard. But the people who go up there are ones who are experienced. They know what they are doing, and that's what sheriff deputies say these two young boys are. They are experienced climbers, though the conditions, the chance for slipping and falling, very high right now because of the wet conditions we've had lately. All right, Brent Weisberg reporting live for us near the search area and at the command post for those two missing West Lynn High School students. We certainly hope for good news there. Brent, thank you very much. We'll